certainly in terms of the labor market, which is uh, the one people think about the most and the one on which most of the, research, the majority of research has been done, uh, again, you have to adjust for everything. I'll make more money if I'm better educated, if I'm in an urban area, if I have more experience on the job. So in answering your question, one has to adjust for all these other factors that might affect how much you earn and what kind of job you get. And then ask the question, independent of those, what is the effect of your being better than the average looking or below average looking? So let's take it that we've adjusted for all those other factors. Having done so then, the best estimates are that on average, for the average American, we're talking comparing the top third to the middle half, or to the middle half, let's say, we're talking about 5 8% extra on average, uh, 3 to 5%. And then comparing the middle half to the bottom sixth, pretty bad looking people, we're talking maybe 8 to 10%. So between the top third and the bottom sixth, we're talking on the order of 10 12% extra wages which over a 40-year working life is not small potatoes. So that's one market where we know beauty matters. It matters also in the marriage market. It matters much more in the marriage market for women than it does for men. But a good-looking woman will get a husband who can earn about 10% more than the bad-looking women will. And since men still in this country are the bigger earners, that adds a lot to the woman's uh, ability to consume and live well. It matters in the market for getting loans for some crazy reason. Uh, in lending markets, better looking people will get better deals on the loans for housing and for cars. For the same kind of loan, you're more likely to get a lower mortgage rate, longer payout period, and you're also, surprisingly enough, more likely to default if you're better looking. Even though you're getting better terms, you're still more likely to default. So it's just very clearly that you're favored by the loan officer with whom you negotiate.